What's going on everybody? I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Atelier Riser 3. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a perfect four element Philosopher's Stone, Olden Philosopher's Stone, even a whole bunch of other items as well, all with four elements. Now, you might think that sounds a little weird, but hear me out, okay? So the Olden Philosopher's Stone, for example, here is fire, water, and air. And then here is fire, lightning, and air. That's because during the creation process, you can only add one element to it, okay? Because the other element will replace it. For example, add ice here in the effects and add bolt here in the effects. Bolt overwrites ice and so on, so forth. Same with the Philosopher's Stone. We have fire, ice, and lightning with the add fire effect there. And then here we have fire, ice, and lightning with add fire. However, the keen-eyed among you may have noticed something just. You can create all four element Philosopher's Stones. So how exactly do we do that when the effect itself is overwritten? So as you can see, here's Add Fire and here's Add Fire. They are both effect four. So there's no real way of actually getting both effects at the same time because they will just continue to overwrite each other. So what exactly do we actually do? Well, first of all, you want to throw in the four items necessary to actually create the item. And upon doing that, because I use my Philosopher's Stone and my Crystal Element, I've also used Effect Spread to pretty much master everything. What I'm also going to do now is I'm just going to throw a couple more Philosopher's Stones in. And yes, obviously I have already created my four element ones. You can use a normal Philosopher's Stone or you can just use normal items if you want to perfect this. It's entirely up to you. It makes no difference whatsoever. Or, you know, you could use uh, Archean Seals and the Jewel Slots and other things like that. We're not going to throw an Adamant in to get an Olden Philosopher's Stone. We're just going to create a normal Philosopher's Stone first. And now we're just going to get the final effect spread ability. So, as you can see, we have everything mastered here. Yeah, we've got all the abilities on the final tier. We've got the full element value buff, the effect spread, and of course, the synth quantity. But we are missing one thing, the fire element. Now, obviously, we have add fire right there, but we can't use that because it's been replaced. Well, we're going to abuse the new secret key feature, okay? So by pressing triangle, once you have put the main core ingredients in, you can actually bring up a list of secret keys that you have acquired. Now, secret keys are obtained from creating pristine keys via synthesis and then going around and using the keys on landmarks or enemies and so on and so forth. Once you actually do that, you will get a key. Now, these keys can either buff you in battle, you can use them in the field, or you can use them in synthesis. And some of the effects that you can get is you can add an element. So we have fire, ice, bolt, and air. Right now, I only need fire for my Philosopher's Stone. So I'm going to filter the keys so that the only one that's shown for me right now is added element fire. So if I use any of these three keys right here, it will give me the fire element, okay? So now my Philosopher's Stone has all four elements, including all the effect spread abilities. Now all we have to do is actually create it and get it up to the S rank to get the final set of element value boosts that you acquire upon ranking up. Also, I'm just going to throw Lone Wolf Space on because I'm going to keep that. So, we've done that now for a Philosopher's Stone. Also, ideally, you would use a super trait of Super Concentration. Super Concentration basically just adds plus 5 to the element value. I, unfortunately, do not have a gem or an ether core with them. Also, if you want to get an ether core from, you know, like seeds or something like that, you can get them from the stone seed. Now, if I had an ether core with the super concentration super trait, I would have used that just for the added bonus there. Now, let's talk about the olden Philosopher's Stone because this one is actually different. Okay, we have to do this one differently. 
So even though we've just created some four element, you know, philosopher stones, we do not want to use them. Okay, this is this is really important. We do not want to use them. Instead, for the olden philosopher's stone, <coughs> oh excuse me, we want to use one without the wind element. Now this is a pain in the butt to get, okay? Because in order to get that fire there and not get that one, you need to create a crystal element with no effect spread, okay? Once you've created a crystal element with no effect spread, you can put it in there and then you can get the add fire effect normally, completely ignoring the add air on the philosopher's stone. So once you've got your philosopher's stone with no air element, throw that into the first slot and then just add in the remaining core ingredients as necessary. Just doing like we did, just avoiding air entirely. Now, upon doing that, okay, even though the Grace Nero does have effect spread as well, it will not reach this final one, which is add Puny Ball. The main reason we want to avoid this is Puny Ball will replace sand. And we actually want two of these Philosopher's Stones. We want one with the sand effect, and we want one with the Puny Ball effect. That means we can use these olden Philosopher's Stones in both sand categories and Puny Ball categories by simply duplicating them over and over. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to perfect this item, just getting absolutely everything that there is to get, while ignoring this final Puny Ball category. And then, okay, we have everything right now. All we're missing is the final element. So that is going to be the ice element. So once again, just like before, we're going to use keys and we are going to add element ice this time. It doesn't matter which key we use, as long as it has the add element ice, it will give us what we need, okay? So now we have the olden philosopher's stone with all four elements. Just like before, we are going to go ahead and actually complete the synthesis right here. Okay, and now we are going to finish that synthesis, okay? Remember, that one's got the sand category. And again, I would ideally use super concentration on that, but I don't have an elixir with it on, unfortunately, because the only thing that allows you to transfer super traits are base items. So right here, like the element force, for example, equivalent exchange, I could put that on a philosopher's stone if I created it right now. But from, say, my Grace of Nero, because that is a crafted item, we cannot transfer super traits from it. Anyway, we're getting off topic a little bit. So I've just created my olden philosopher's stone. So let's just, uh, there we go. So right now we have the effect sand. We've got seven of these. So I'm going to go ahead and lock that one right there. And then I'm going to rebuild a different one. And then we're just going to throw in a couple of wind elements right here in the puny ball slot, just to change that over to a puny ball philosopher's stone. And then we're going to complete the rebuild and we are also going to lock that one as well. So now we have the sand and puny ball category along with the elixir, mystery, jewel and neutralizer category. And we also have the same there. We now have all four elements in those categories with a huge effect spread and a high element value. This alone is going to allow you to craft 95% of the items in pretty much one item use, okay? And that's not all. You can also do this with other items as well. And what I mean by other items is stuff like the Traveler's Water Orb. That has three elements on it naturally, but you can also create that with a fire element. This is one I made earlier. I've already used a key, as you can see in the bottom left of the screen there. However, if I wanted to, I could go and craft another one using the add fire element key. And then I've got a Traveler's Water Orb with all four elements. Same with the honey. I can add Bolt to that. Um, I've already added Fire to Taboo Drop. You can add an extra element to the Dark Glittering Oval. Or one of the really good ones is the Feather Draft. This is one of the few items that goes in the gas category with effect spread. You can use an elemental key in that to create a four element effect spread in gas. And it works the same way with pretty much everything. Grand Organ. 
a sage coat. You can put extra elements on anything you want. And this is going to allow you to create some insanely, insanely good synthesis items that are going to allow you to effect a spread or just save a couple of turns on the actual item production. But though, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I really hope it has helped. If it has, then please be sure to smash that like button and drop a comment down below. Let me know the first thing you are going to create using this, uh, this strategy. And of course, if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got tons and tons of guides coming for Atelier Riser 3, and you will not want to miss them. As always, though, everybody, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.